And the next thing is uh, what are the eating disorders, you know, so uh, 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 there is a commonly held view that uh, eating disorders are a lifestyle choice, you know. So eating disorders are actually um, uh, serious and often fatal illness uh, that cause uh, severe disturbances to person's eating behavior, you know. So obsessions uh, with food, body weight and shape may also uh, signal an eating disorder, you know. So, uh, common eating disorders include uh, anorexia, uh, nervosa, uh, bulimia, nervosa, and uh, uh, um, uh, binge, uh, binge uh, eating disorder. You know. And uh, the uh, next one, what are the symptoms and signs of uh, the eating disorder? You know, the people with anorexia nervosa may see themselves as overweight, uh, even when they are dangerously underweight. You know, so. And the people with anorexia nervosa typically weigh themselves repeatedly, several uh, severely restrict the amount of food they eat and uh, eat very small quantities of uh, only certain foods, you know. And so the uh, anorexia nervosa has the highest mortality rate um, of any mental uh, disorder, you know. So while many young women and men uh, with this disorder die for, from the complications associated with the starvation, so others die of suicide, you know, so so in um, uh, women the suicide is much more common uh, in those with anorexia than uh, with most uh, other mental disorders, you know. Uh, you know the, the symptoms uh, include uh, like uh, um, extremely restricted eating or extreme uh, thinness, you know. Uh, uh, relentless uh, uh, pursuit of uh, thinness and underwillings to maintain a normal uh, healthy weight, you know, and distorted body image, you know, and uh, the other symptoms may develop over the time, uh, and that's including the uh, thinning of the bones, uh, and that's the osteopenia or osteoporosis, you know, um, brittle hair and nails, you know, dry and uh, yellowish skin and um, uh, uh, growth of uh, fine uh, hair all over the body, you know. Uh, severe constipation, uh, low blood pressure, uh, brain damage, uh, damage to the structure of the, and the function of the heart, you know, or um, uh, drop in uh, internal body temperature, you know, causing a person to feel cold uh, all the time, you know, uh, and uh, infertility is another very serious complication, you know. The next and the next thing is then um, what is the bulimia nervosa you know so the people with uh, bulimia nervosa has uh, uh, recurrent and frequent episodes of uh, eating uh, unusually large amounts of food and um, uh, feeling a lack of uh, uh, control over these episodes you know uh, so so this uh, uh, being eating is followed by behavior that uh, compensates for the overeating such as forced vomiting you know uh, and uh, excessive use of laxatives or diuretics you know fasting excessive exercise or a combination of these uh, behaviors you know, you know? So unlike anorexia uh, nervosa, the people with the bulimia nervosa usually maintain what is considered uh, a healthy or relatively uh, moral weight, you know. And the symptoms include uh, chronically inflamed and um, a sore throat, swollen salivary glands and uh, uh, in the neck and the jaw area, you know. Uh, so worn tooth uh, enamel and uh, increasingly sensitive and uh, decaying teeth, you know as a result of exposure to uh, stomach acid. Acid reflex disorder and other gastrointestinal problems, you know, intestinal distress and irritation from laxative uh, abuse, you know, and the severe dehydration from uh, uh, purging of fluids and electrolyte imbalance uh, too low or too high levels of sodium, calcium, potassium and other minerals uh, which can lead to stroke or heart attack, you know. So these are the common, uh, common symptoms of um, uh, bulimia nervosa. You know, next thing is, uh, what are the binge eating disorder, you know, so the people with the binge eating disorder uh, 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 lose control over uh, his or her eating, you know, so unlike uh, bulimia nervosa, the periods of binge eating uh, disorder are not followed by uh, purging, excessive um, uh, exercise or fasting, you know, 
Uh, so as a result, people are with uh, binge eating disorder often are overweight or obese, you know. So binge eating, uh, eating disorder uh, is the most common eating disorder in the world, you know. The symptoms include uh, eating uh, unusually large amounts of uh, food in specific amount of time, you know. Eating, eating even when you are full, you know, and not hungry, you know. Uh, and uh, the eating until you are uncomfortably full. Uh, eating alone or uh, in secret to avoid embarrassment and uh, feeling distressed, ashamed or guilty about your eating, you know, uh, is uh, frequently uh, dieting and uh, possibly without weight loss, you know. But the next is what are the risk factors of uh, uh, eating disorders you know so the eating disorders frequently appear during the teen years of uh, or the young adulthood uh, but may uh, also develop during childhood or later in life you know so these disorders um, affect both genders male and female you know so all the rates among the women are um, uh, two and a half percent uh, times uh, greater than in men you know uh, so the like women uh, who have eating disorders uh, men also have uh, a distorted sense of body image you know uh, so for example men uh, may have muscle dysmorphia you know uh, it's a type of disorder uh, uh, marked by um, an extreme concern with become more muscular you know so researcher, uh, researchers are finding that uh, eating disorder uh, are caused by complex uh, uh, interaction of uh, genetic, biological, behavioral, psychological and social disorders, you know, factors, you know. So researchers are using uh, the latest technology and science to better understand eating disorders. And so uh, one approach involves the study of human genes uh, uh, eating uh, uh, eating disorders uh, run in families, you know. So the researchers are working uh, to identify uh, uh, DNA variations uh, that are linked to the increased risk of developing uh, eating disorders. You know, brain imaging studies are also providing a better understanding of uh, eating uh, disorders, you know. And so, for example, researchers have found differences in uh, uh, patterns of brain activity in women uh, with eating disorders in comparison uh, with the healthy women, you know. Uh, so this kind of research can help uh, and guide the development of new means of diagnosis and uh, treatment of uh, eating disorders. The next thing is uh, what are the treatments and uh, therapies for the uh, eating disorder, you know. So the adequate uh, nutrition, uh, reducing excessive exercise and uh, stopping um, uh, purging behaviors uh, are the foundations uh, of treatment you know so treatment plans are uh, tailored to individual needs you know uh, and they may include one or more of the uh, the next time I'm going to tell you you know the number one is the individual group and family psychotherapy you know uh, and uh, medical care and monitoring you know and nutritional counseling and uh, medication you know and the psychotherapy such as family-based therapy called the uh, uh, Maudsley approach, you know, where parents of uh, the teenagers with the anorexia nervosa assume responsibility for feeding their child, you know, and uh, appear to be very effective in helping people gain um, weight and improve eating habits and uh, moods, you know, uh, and to reduce or eliminate uh, being eating and uh, punching behaviors. Uh, people, many, uh, many people, you know, may undergo uh, cognitive, uh, uh, sorry, uh, cognitive, you know, uh, behavioral therapy, which is called, uh, known as also uh, CBT, you know, which is another type of uh, psychotherapy that helps a person uh, learn how to identify and uh, um, uh, distorted or um, uh, uh, unhelpful thinking patterns, you know, and recognize and uh, <clears throat> change the inaccurate beliefs, you know. And the last thing is the uh, medications, you know. Um, the evidence also suggests that uh, medications such as antidepressants and uh, 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 antipsychotics, you know, uh, are mood stabilizers, you know, so um, may also be helpful for treating eating uh, disorders and uh, uh, other um, uh, co-occurring illnesses such as anxiety and depression, you know. Uh, so it is entirely up to you, your physician, you know, so how he deals with uh, your particular